Hello students today we are going to learn about the easy trick to find out hybridization how to find if a molecule is given or if a compound is given how to find out the hybridization just within one minute you can calculate this and we will learn how to calculate that hybridization in a easy way okay these are the formulas for a neutral atom whenever you take a neutral atom how to calculate the hybridization that is 1 by 2 of G plus M and for cation if a cation is given how to calculate 1 by 2 of G plus M minus C C is nothing but cation anion that is equals to 1 by 2 of G plus M plus A what is this G defines G is nothing but central atom central atom group number what is that central atom group number matter m what is meant by m that is total number of monovalent elements what is the total number of monovalent elements now c is cations how many cation is present a is nothing but anion by using the help of this formulas now we will see few examples how to calculate the hybridization for suppose if you take mgbr2 okay in this mgbr2 what is the central atom magnesium and this is a neutral atom it is not having any charge so it is not a cation or it is not a anion now this is a neutral atom what is the neutral atom formula n is equals to 1 by 2 g plus m right 1 by 2 g what is g central atom group number here magnesium is the central atom what is the group number of magnesium that is 2 okay what is m total number of monovalent elements how many monovalent elements are present here again 2 so 1 by 2 now that is 4 ok now 2 now you have got 2 how to tell this what is the hybridization for that we are having a simple way whenever you get answer 2 that is sp hybridization whenever you get answer 3 that is sp2 hybridization whenever you get 4 that is sp3 5 that is sp3 d whenever you get answer 6 that is sp3 d2 whenever you get 7 that is sp3 d3 now what you have got the answer to then what is this hybridization that is sp that means for magnesium dibromide what is the hybridization you are getting that is sp sp hybridization now we will see for cations and anions how to calculate now we will see how to calculate for cations okay for cations what is the formula 1 by 2 of g plus m minus c okay now i am taking an example that is nh4 plus okay what is the example i have taken nh4 plus and this is a cation that is equals to 1 by 2 of here what is the central atom ammonia what is the central atom group number what is the ammonia nitrogen group number that is 5 plus how many monovalent elements are there hydrogen is a monovalent element how many are there 4 so that is why 4 minus cation how many cations only 1 did you understand now 1 by 2 of 9 minus 1 that is equals to 1 by 2 of 8 that is equals to 4 I have told you whenever you are getting the answer 4 what is the hybridization that is sp3 hybridization what is that hybridization sp3 hybridization this is for anion 
sorry cations now we will see for anions what is the anion formula a is equals to 1 by 2 of group number plus m plus anion okay now now we will take an example of so4 minus 2 okay this is an anion so4 minus 2 now that is equals to 1 by 2 of group number in this so4 minus 2 what is the central atom sulfur what is the sulfur group number that is 6 okay sulfur group number is 6 so 6 and what is oxygen oxygen is a it is not a monovalent element so we will be considering it as zero okay now oxygen it is not a monovalent element so we will write it as zero and anions how many anions are present two anions are present so write it as two now 6 plus 2 8 1 by 2 of 8 is equals to 4 again 4 you have got now what is the hybridization sp3 see we can calculate just within a 1 minute to find out uh, neutral atom for cations and anions for calculating hybridization this is one of the method to easily calculate the hybridization and hope You, it is very useful to find it out hybridization just within few seconds uh, thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the online patashala